Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, right now I'm going to do a speed test with the Google Pixel 5 and the Moto 1 5G. Now, both of these phones have a Snapdragon 765 processor and I have a case on both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep the case on while I do the speed test. Now I got the Spigen bad boy right here for this phone. And this is a great case by the way. So if you guys are interested in picking up a case, I'm going to put a link down in the description for the case on this one and this one as well so let's go ahead and boot these things up and uh, see which one's going to boot up first now we got eight gigabytes of ram here and we have four gigabytes of ram here so let's go ahead and boot this up all right so this is this should be a pretty interesting uh, speed test i'm going to see if uh the difference in uh the ram is going to make a big difference here and so far looks like Motorola is going to get to the start first all right so Motorola is going to win this one all right and Google still taking its time now they're both connected to the uh, same Wi-Fi here so let's go ahead and clear all that stuff out Alright, so I think Google's probably doing some updates in the background right now. Alright, so Google's wins here, so let's go ahead and get that one going. I forgot my pin, that's crazy. Alright. Alright guys, so here we go. Alright, so they're both booted up, so we know that the boot win goes to the Moto 1 5G. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start opening up some apps. All right, let's go with uh, the phone app. I'm gonna go ahead and put Do Not Disturb right now. Turn off my Bluetooth. All right, let me go up, there we go. All right, phone app, one, two, three, go. All right, that was pretty quick on both of them. All right, messaging app, one, two, three, go. It's pretty quick on both of them. All right, let's go to Chrome. One, two, three, go. Both going to NFL.com. And it looks like the uh, Pixel 5 got there faster. Let's go back there and just start scrolling a little bit. All right, they both have the 90 hertz, which is beautiful display. Now, this is the AMOLED over here. The OLED. So it's going to have deeper blacks, but all in all, uh, scrolling is great on both of them. All right, let's go ahead and do camera app. One, two, three, go. And all right, they're about the same here. So far, not a big difference either way. Let's go to Play Store. One, two, three, go. And I think the pixel loaded up faster. On Play Store. All right, and this one's still loading some stuff up. Like I said, my connection is not the not the greatest. So, all right, okay, still doing loading. All right, so let's go back and um, let's go to Gmail here. One, two, three, go. Alright guys, now let's go ahead and do a game here. Um, let's try uh, Temple Run. One, two, three, go. Now they're neck and neck guys, so 765 on both of these. And um, looks like it's a tight race. And um, you tell me, I, I, don't, I don't think there's a winner here. I think it's a tie. All right, let's go ahead and play. Let's go ahead and play, jump, jump, jump. All right, sliding, jumping. They're both fluid, they're both good, they're both solid. Um, so, I mean, both, both of these phones can gain. 765 Snapdragon is a fine, fine processor, guys. You don't need anything higher than a 765. All right. 
Now it's going to look a little bit nicer on the Pixel because of the screen, but it looks really good here too. You can't really tell the difference in the viewfinder, but they're both fantastic guys. So let's go ahead and uh, get out of that one. Get out of that one. And um, there we go. Let's go ahead and do one more app. Let's go ahead and um, let's do Instagram here. We can find it here. One, two, one, two, three, go. All right, let's start scrolling through that. Both even. They're both pretty even. All right, they're both pretty nice, pretty even. All right. Well, that's good. Wow, look at look at just just flying right through. Wow, just flying right through. Now I got the dark theme on my Pixel Five, but that really isn't going to make a difference as far as speed. Um, and let's do Facebook. One, oops, never mind. Let me do that again. Let me clear that out. And let's do Facebook again. One, two, three, go. Now, oh, pretty quick. Both of them are neck and neck. There's no difference. There's absolutely no difference here, guys, between either one of these phones as far as speed. And they're both pretty stock Android, um, so you're not gonna have you're not gonna have a lot of hiccups. You're not gonna have a lot of things going on. One, two, three, let's go Amazon. All right. I, I I think that the Pixel has a slightly better uh, 5G modem, but uh, just works a little bit better with the Pixel for some reason. But not 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 a great deal. Either way, guys, whichever of these phones you like, um, they're both fantastic. This one's going to get three years of operating system updates. This one's done uh, at Android 11, I believe. So I, I don't think there's going to be any more updates with the Moto One 5G. But other than that, um, both of these phones are fantastic devices. Whichever one you choose, you're not going to make a mistake. If you want a long-term device, you go with the Pixel. Uh, you can pick this one up right now for around $300 on a used market. Like I said, this one's probably going for around uh, 2 250 I've seen them for about 2 250 on Amazon. So um, either way, guys, they're both fantastic devices. Anyways, hope that helps. Until next time. If you like the video, subscribe down below. Until then.